Hey, welcome back everybody in YouTube land. Hey, I want to say to some of my friends, I got James out there. He's been watching my videos. I got Ryan. He's been watching my videos and I got many other ones. I just want to say a shout out to you and thanks for watching and supporting the channel and all you other ones that have subscribed. I just want to say thanks. Well, here's what we're working on today. We're back on the Brewer 350. As you can see, we are working on the brakes. Now, a big issue was, look how nasty these are. They got some oil in them. And I'm not sure what it is in there. It could be, I, I think there's a seal over here. I can't remember on these how it is. But we're gonna clean that up. We're gonna take these brakes off. We got new brakes. And as you can see here, this is gonna need a good cleaning. And uh, get all the oil off. Look at that, that's nasty. Been tons of water in there, and and I think what happened is this is what happened. Um, <clears throat> looks like uh, somebody broke it. I don't know what happened there. I think there's supposed to be a seal around this, and as you can obviously see, there's not. So I'm going to see if I can find something to put in there, or I'm just going to use silicone and uh, silicone this around there, try to keep some of the water out. I'm not sure, I better check too, see how good this seal is. It don't look too good, does it? There's something there, but you know. Uh, we'll see, so here we're gonna pull these off. First of all, I pulled, you can see the little, two little things in the tire key, those went right here. So I pulled those off and uh, this should just slip off. What I might do is throw some some stuff in there to get a, help slide it off. What you do is here. Let me let me back up a little bit, and, and I should have showed you this before I even started. But you want to release these. Okay, this is for this one here. As you can see here, goes to the back foot brake. This one here goes to that handbrake right there. And uh, so you want to loosen those up because you're going to put your new ones on there and then you have to readjust them. So you want to put some, I use a vice grip, put it on here and unscrew them. This one's a little, it was a little rough. But, uh, all right, well, let me get my gloves on. Get my hands all nasty. Uh, and uh, I'll get the tripod so I can put you in there and I can work easily and we can get this thing taken care of. We're going to take these off we're going to clean this out the best possible clean those all up and see what we can do um, you know we'll do the best we can do this really is important to get all that oily film off as you can see the oily film there because that's not going to stop you <laughs> slow you down maybe all right so i get that all take care of i'll be back all right here we go yeah. Now this is what I'm using here. Let me level you guys out a little bit. I bought this and what I've been using instead of using that brake cleaner, I put rubbing alcohol, about 70% rubbing alcohol in here and trying to use that because other stuff actually is not good for you. But we're not going there yet, but that's what I've been doing and it's a cheaper too. And it seems to work good. I've used it on painting stuff. Um, a lot of different things and it seems to work very well but I'll show you here get in your way there love you guys out here I'm looking at stuff crooked right Gotta keep it from doing that okay. and All right well there's the new ones there's the new ones Got this cleaned up. Got most of the grease off there. Some stuff on there. I ain't worried about it. It'll eventually come off. Now we need to do is slide this off. That was pretty easy. Yep. Let's put that down there. And what I like to do here. I like to put, oh, sorry about that, right in front of you there. 
come again. I thought I could put some white list in grease. And it'll help hold it on, or you can put some grease, just grease period on there. I like to put something on it to keep it from seizing up. Because this is probably still going to get wet in here. Because it don't seem like it's wanting to play nice with the ceiling. Well, play nice, it don't like this wants to go in there right either. Okay. That ain't going to work right. So watch it. I'm going to get all greasy. Maybe I'll get that on the wrong side. Let's do a little better. There we go. Head on the wrong side. Wrong side. Okay. Okay. Now. <laughs> I have an issue here. Okay, it works. You want to spring back. You don't want to suck, be sucked on there, right? So. that on there. Now I gotta get some new bits for that. Let me cut our keys. Pause and try. Okay, two new cutter keys here. The old ones were decent shape, but I have them. So I have to put them in here. See if I can get it to work. So this goes down, let's tilt down. There we go. Goes on there. Now let's put this on here and let's do a check. Check to see how to pull these out. Seems good. Seems good. Now this is nasty, but it don't have nothing to do with that. It's just what it is. Um, let me see. I was going to see if there's something that I can <clears throat> seal that up. But I don't know if I really want to because I don't think this, <clears throat> see this here, that's gone. Oh, here, no. <laughs> looking at the wrong side. This goes on there. And that's not exactly great, so I'm going to worry about this. Um, now, if this is one that's yours and you want to make sure this, you can go through and get a new seal for this, you can get a new seal for this to make sure, but I ain't, I think what I'm hanging on to, so I ain't going to worry about it, I just got to get it back together, I need the brakes to work, because this four-wheeler just ain't, you know, when you're putting these together, you got to figure out, okay, how much are you going to put into it, you know, what are you going to get out of it, sometimes it's not worth it to put all that into it, so now at least it's got brakes, it'll stop, uh, and, and if water does get in there, at least it will drain out. But if I seal it all up, water will get in here and it'll sit and it'll make it worse. So at least now it will drain out if I do that. So that's not the proper way. This is, I'm not showing this is the proper way. Just if you're changing your brakes out, it might give you some idea or, of what sometimes just it really helps to see <clears throat> how something comes apart. You might be able to do a shelf. But hopefully yours is all okay. 
It's not a big mess like this one. So. But, you know, you play the you can you play this, this, new brakes, you're getting into a lot of money. So, if they stay out of heavy water, which I don't like taking them in heavy water anyway, they won't have an issue, they won't have a problem. Alright, now I'm going to pause you and bring over here. Or I'm just going to bring you up here. Alright. Get you a little closer here, you can see what's going on. Now we're going to put these in. <clears throat> so you put this in here. You got the little hole in there. So you put the hole toward the, the bolt, cable bolt thing there. <laughs> Whatever they call it. There's a name. I don't know it. Now you push it up like that. Then you can start your, your wing nuts here. For tightening it up. Once you get those in there, that'll hold them. That one's gonna be the booger. This one's easy. This one's not, so that one's a booger. So let's get this one up where it needs to be. And tighten it up. And that's how you adjust your brakes too. Oh, and I forgot, I have the, there it is, the spring. The spring goes on here, that gives it some help to spring back, which I need. There we go. Wow. I think somebody adjusted this wrong. Yeah, somebody pulled this back thing off. Um, that's too far. Can't do any good. Wow. Yeah, let's go. Let's just run this one down. Let's see if it's going to work. It just seems like it's pretty far up there, but maybe it's not. I might be wrong. In my thinking, so this one is for the. Oh, this is for the foot brake. Well, you get the point. You adjust it until you feel it and it's right for what you do, and adjust it right. And then what we do here? I clean this off a little here. Get that in there. So that little seal and then this goes back onto there like that and there you go that's how we change the rear brakes on an 06 Yamaha Bruin 350 automatic which it works for all of them but this is what we're working on today well I hope this helps somebody and uh, push smash the bell get and uh, subscribe gets we always have something coming i'm going to have the front brakes coming up too so we're going to be doing the front brakes those are discs a little easier so i'm going to put that on there too so maybe that'll help somebody oh i got a front bear i forgot it. i got a front wheel bearing on this too to replace so we'll show that all right everybody well take care and this is about as long as this for this video and i uh, hope this helps everybody and take care have a good day thanks for watching